respected deans, UMOs, faculty members, staff, and uh, non Carter, Carter, PhDs, non PhDs, whoever you are, whatever Carter you are working at, you are extremely valuable to us. And I say this very frequently that organizations are just a group of people. So any organization is just a group of people. And I say this very proudly, that UMT is not like any conventional organization. We are like a family. And we literally function like a family. And as you know, Dr. Asif, he has recently joined us, but he has gotten the you know spirit that we at UMT function like a family. I remember last year there was uh, someone who had worked with us for a considerable number of years, and uh, he got an opportunity, a much better opportunity, and he wanted to leave us. And I was driving somewhere with someone else who had also been with us for the past like 20 years. And I was talking to him and I said, you know, he'll obviously go there and it'll be very difficult. Maybe it will be very difficult for him to adjust there. And I told him, we are this way, this way, a family. So he said, why are you saying this? I said, the reason is that if you come to work, and you don't want to do your work on your own, so you have phoned me, you have two hours with Abdullah Sahib, three hours with Abdullah Sahib. One hour with Zidani Sahib, one hour with Rafi Kawan Sahib, and you will have your day to go. So you will be very proud of us. Thank you very much. And I believe that when they left us, when they left us, they said to HR, I said to them, तीन महीने में वापस होंगे और तीन महीने खत्म होने से कोई तीन दिन पहले वो वापस आ गए थे <laughs> तो ये कि जो भी बात की रेक्टर साहब ने भी बाकियों ने भी कि ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के अंदर जो मोस्ट सबसे इम्पॉर्टेंट चीज़ है द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इन एनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज द स्पिरिट इट इज़ नॉट द स्किल्स इट इज़ नॉट द नॉलेज इट इज़ नॉट द डिग्रीज इट इज बेसिकली द स्पिरिट एंड द कल्चर and I read about culture a lot and I read once somewhere that culture is like the wind. You can't see it, but you can feel it. And when I walk in these corridors, I feel the culture of UMT. And I feel the love and the warmth. And sometimes when I get out of the masjid, I meet, let's say today I met Bashir Saab. He's been with us for let's say 30 plus years now. And uh, he's sticked with us through thick and thin. And we've tried to stick with him and people like him through thick and thin. Because any organization, like any individual, goes through ups and downs. You know, we ourselves have, you know, moments of happiness, moments of sadness. So any organization has moments in which there is stress, and there's challenge, there's competition, or whatever. So I am very happy and I'm very, you know, delighted and I'm, I feel very lucky and UMT feels very lucky to have every single one of you as part of our family. <laughs> and I was saying this, Director uh, Saab was saying that there were a few people who, you know, wanted to leave and some, you know, we managed to retain and sometimes we don't manage to retain them. But today I want to make one claim. And anyone over here can challenge me on this claim. I have seen whoever has left UMT, deep inside his heart, he has never left UMT. When you become a part of our family, you will always remain a part of our family. And you will always have love, affection, respect for this institution. 
and there were there was another individual uh, i could not see him today so he left us for some reasons he had an issue with his supervisor he worked with us for 10 12 years and so some people will now get an idea who he is so i used to see him every friday at the masjid so he was working somewhere else but he used to pray the juma prayer at umt masjid and i used to meet everyone and have lunch and dinner so i said if you want to i asked him i said if you spend like 2 3 hours every week over here why don't you join back and he said that's a good idea so when can i come <laughs> I said all your friends are here. You like working here, whatever. Your boss is not here anymore, so we can, you know, so we join next week. So UMT, I've seen, and there's there are other people who have joined other organizations. Then they come and see, they come and see me once a month, or they're in contact with us. And there's some people who are working in other places, and they still try to assist us, help us, facilitate us, try to forge. linkages with our uh, you know amongst the two organizations so one thing that i know for certain is that umt you know you one may leave umt but umt will never leave that person and umt will always remain a part of their life so i feel that you know i would again like to uh, say this point that i personally and umt is extremely lucky and i would say exceptionally lucky to have people like you and uh, the way that you have worked through thick and thin you know the amount of hard work that you've put the amount of hours that you've put and the moments that you've sacrificed for work and you haven't given that time to your family that is precious and that you know see i can personally me the organization no one can give you reward for that only allah can give you ajr for that for all that effort that you made because our purpose is learning and we are here for the students we are here for the for advancement of knowledge we are here to make sure that the future of pakistan is bright and whatever you know input whatever hard work whatever effort you put into that mission that no one can you know compensate you for that only the almighty can compensate you for that effort and for that uh, he only he can give you that reward and then today um, we have a few professors who are being nominated as distinguished professors so umt is very proud of you umt is very proud of your services you yourselves are like we have schools and institutes but you are yourself like an institute and like a school because out of you know your work out of your career out of your experience you have at umt formed institute founded institutes you have founded schools and through the through these schools the lot of hundreds and thousands of graduates have come out hundreds of publications may have come out and in pakistan in that discipline the discipline may have advanced so i feel that you know whatever services you rendered it is not only to the university or to society it is for the country and it is for the discipline also and we acknowledge these services and we acknowledge these efforts and whatever contributions you have had to play while you were at umt and we are proud of you and we hope that you will continue doing exceptional work i know that your students are serving in leading universities in leading positions in the corporate sector and in they're successful and that's a you know distinction that you carry and it's a, it's something that we are very proud of as you know umt and is something that i'm sure you will also be very proud of when i looked at today's uh, you know the card that was sent to me it said i had to speak for 40 minutes so i thought maybe they wanted me to give the juma khutba <laughs> or maybe they wanted to test me <laughs> because today is friday also so <laughs> i thought maybe they so 
<clears throat> then I noticed that the program started 20 minutes late, so maybe I think I've spoken enough. But Sean, my staff, I said, why do they want me to speak 40 minutes? He said, sir, khane mein na bhukha bade to ho ja rahe ho aap us mein. Lekin I think abhi 6 baje hai aur takdeere hai maari sab ki khatam ho gai hai aur khana jo hai aaj shayad jalt jai ho 6 baje khana bade ga sab ko. Aur I am very pleased to be part of today's event and uh, I wish you all the best and we hope that we continue to put in our best for this institution, for our country, for the youth and for Muslim Ummah. Thank you very much.